what's up guys welcome to my channel today we got this uh, nissan sentra so if you have a 2013 14 15 16 nissan sentra uh this is uh, sr and if you have rear disc brakes and you need to replace the disc brakes as you can see the brake pad in there is pretty much gone to the end so we're gonna replace a disc we're gonna replace the brake pads hardware so we're gonna take off this bolt this bolt we're gonna take off this bolt and there's one more bolt over here so i'm gonna give you guys a complete guide on everything so you don't really need to uh a lot of people don't take off this bolt but uh, in our case we're gonna take one off and we should be able to slip this one off we're gonna grease everything we're gonna change the hardware we're gonna i'm gonna give you the torque specs there is brakes inside this so we're gonna do a small adjustment on that we're gonna clean those and do a small adjustment anyways uh this little rubber piece you're gonna need to re-put it on the new rotors so we got grease here we got wire brush very important we got a 17 millimeter we got a 14 millimeter we are gonna need a 17 millimeter socket also we got a compressed tool to compress the caliper we got a flathead screwdriver and we got a torque wrench so we are gonna be torquing the bolts on this guy so i'm gonna show you how to do it here and the process is on the same thing on the opposite side but let's move on to our uh pads and rotors here so my customer bought this there's a part number on this if you guys want it if you got the same vehicle simple discs they're not painted i like to use electric coated painted discs we're gonna clean and adjust the uh, we're gonna clean these with this brake cleaner and we got this small little handy dandy rag we got wagner brake pads that's what the customer bought and there's our brake pads comes with the greasing comes with the brake pads comes with the hardware kit the greasing i really don't use i got my own grease but anyways let's get this job cranking all right my friends so we're gonna start off right from back over here what you want to do is you want to remove this bolt here it's probably gonna be super tight but if your bolts does not move because these are long bolts okay they're called the sliding pins and if they don't budge and they don't turn pretty much very common they will seize up on you Ignore the background noise, but we're gonna clean off that grease and put a new grease on this guy. Oh, we're gonna use a different type of grease for this, okay? So I'm gonna show you that as well. So that's another thing. Let me go get it right now. So this is what we got. Silicone grease. That's gonna be for the sliding pins, which is pretty good. So once you take this off, you should be able to pull this caliper off and slip it right off, just like that, just slip it off. Put this on the top, you don't wanna leave it hanging. Your brake pads are immediately gonna fall out. If your brake pads was jammed in here and you had to bang, 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 bang up these out of here, sometimes you do over time they get stuck, but that means the person before didn't do a good job. I done these brakes last time. They got crusted, but I know I did them. But we did a pretty good job there. We're gonna take our 17 millimeter And we're gonna take off this bolt. Okay. And we're gonna take off this bolt. So the process is same for the opposite side. So we're gonna be doing the same thing on the opposite side. Here it goes. Pretty much loose. And loose. Two bolts come off. While we add it, let's bring the camera out. So what we're gonna do next is, we're gonna remove this little guy. Just pull off this hardware, and pull off this hardware. And put them away. Take your wire brush, you want to clean this surface okay a lot of people they will use a buffer but if it's really corroded then you do want to get in there with the buffer a lot of brake dust so use a mask
once this is clean what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take a little bit of grease and put it right down here the hardware kit is gonna sit on top of it we're gonna work this as we go along okay a little bit here 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 all over here doesn't have to be a lot okay so that's done what we're gonna do next is you're gonna take your flathead screwdriver you're gonna come right here next Bring up our camera a bit. Let's take off this guy right here. We're gonna put this onto the new disc, okay? Next, uh, another thing that we forgot was a hammer. Let's go get a hammer. We're gonna tap this and it should slightly come off. Okay, very slightly, just tap here. Make sure your caliper doesn't fall. And your disc will come off just like that. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna prep this caliper. We're gonna prep this caliper, so let's come up a little bit. Let's fix our lighting. What I like to do with caliper is just a tiny bit. This wire brush is not gonna damage it. Just clean up all the dust as much as you can. All this brake corrosion all around it. Clean it all off as much as you can. And then, what I like to do next is take a small little cloth, put some WD 40 on this guy. You don't want to make a big mess, even though I shot it here, but uh, you want to just lubricate this, okay, this boot. And then just wipe it down because all it needs is a little bit of lubrication. And we're going to let it sit there. The process again, same thing for the opposite side. You know what, while we're here, let's compress it. Okay, if you're using a C-clamp like that, make sure you put your old brake pad here to grab it. Since I got this tool, it has this big O circle here. It fits right in there, and it doesn't bother uneven surface on that caliper and compressing that piston. Sometimes when you're doing brakes all around, you will see brake fluid come out through the reservoir from under the hood. That's because Jiffy Lube put too much fluid in there. What we're gonna do next is clean up the surface, okay? Very good. Wire brush it, even a small little dirt, when you're putting a disc on, can fall and cause pulsation, vibration. You don't want none of that. You don't want none of that. Clean, 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 like magic. I'm gonna go get a brake cleaner. So with our brake cleaner, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna clean off the shoes here, okay, and the hub. So together at the same time. Let's move back our camera. And just clean off all this. Just clean it all off. It's gonna be a top quality job here, guys. So, there is adjustment now. We're gonna take our camera down below. There is adjustment right down here. You see that? What I like to do there is, First, you need to figure out which way is in and out. So as you can see, the gap, there's not a lot of gap. So if we do one click, it closed. So we're gonna go back one, one, two, three clips. Okay, you don't wanna do too much either. You can feel the brakes and see how they come out. So do adjust it for the customer a little bit. Cleaning this is not gonna hurt you guys. So we're gonna move on to our parts. Next step, we're gonna clean our discs. So take this cleaner, spray it all around, clean rag. Wipe them down really good. Very simple. Same thing on the opposite side. Okay, the camera turned off here. Your shoes right inside here, so make sure you clean up the inside as well, okay? Give it a good cleaning all around. Do the same thing for this one. You're not gonna see me do this one, but I am gonna do it when I do process that brake water. Okay, next step up, we're gonna put our disc and uh See, there's an extra hole in here. Remember that rubber little guy we took off? This is where this belongs. So you might want to stick this now or later. Do it now. Sometimes this, you push it and it falls inside. But notice, you see these ovals? So pretty much, this is where it goes at. And uh, sometimes you don't have a, it's not an oval. It's all perfectly round. There's an extra hole. Make sure you line that on a different type of vehicle. This goes in. I don't feel much of them shoes. 
but three clicks like I said three clicks if you're not satisfied you could adjust it from right this this hole but I'm happy there so we're done there so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go get the hardware and install it onto this little guy right here let's take our hardware here what we're gonna do is you're simply gonna install the hardware okay make sure it does not hit the disc okay that goes on then you got another one here all four in this package look the same so you do want to check if they're all same bada bing bada boom what i'd like to do next is you want to put a little bit of grease in here as well okay you could either put it on the brake pad and stick it here or what i like to do is i like to put the brake pads in and see if they fit in there sometimes you have to file the brake pads we're going to talk about that okay next step up we're going to take our bracket and the two 17 millimeter bolts and we're gonna install both of them very simple and we're gonna torque them so every vehicle is a different torque spec so this one uh, I am gonna probably torque it down to like 38 foot pound but like I said every vehicle is different so pay attention to your vehicle by pay attention I mean just do a little research it could be a different number on your vehicle so we're gonna just snug this okay we're not gonna we're not gonna torque it yet we're gonna snug it once it's snug we'll bring out our torque wrench this bolt my rubber boot fell notice that make sure, my, make sure we pick that up and put that back on that's good at least we'll know how to put on a rubber boot okay that's it let's grab our rubber boot so rubber boot it has a you see it just match up the sides okay and it clips right on so you're gonna have to work a little bit of magic there so let me get my torque wrench back Okay, so I got my torque wrench to 36 foot pound. That's what the system says. It's not a lot, but that's what it is. Same thing here. A lot of mechanics that go by the arm because they're used to it. Anyway, that's done. And we're gonna move on. You know what? We're gonna adjust it because uh, I can go up to 38, the system said. I don't feel comfortable there, but let's do 38. Perfect. Next step, we're gonna get our brake pads. So here's our brake pads. All four are the same, I believe so. I'll just take a quick look. Some of them will have sensor, but neither one of these have sensors. Oh, yeah, we do have a sensor here. So what I like to do is you want to put this brake pad sensor in the bottom. So if I put it here, it won't be good. I'll leave it for the opposite side. And only one has it. So let's see if our brake pads fit in smooth. You see how the brake pads went in smoothly? If your brake pads, you was not able to do this with your brake pad. That means you need to file a little bit here. You don't want to jam it in, okay? So. Next step, with the brake pad, put a little bit of lube here. Put a little bit of lube here. Same thing on the other brake pad. And you stick in the brake pad. Slipped in very fast <laughs> with the lube. See the magic of lube? Let's pull off this guy. The reason why I said I'll put later on, because if I had put a lube here and then my brake pad did not fit on it, and it would have been a mess, me trying to file that guy with greasing on it so now we know that they fit good we don't need to file them we can put grease on them and stick them on there you go perfect next step we're gonna take our sliding pins this one sitting on the let me see if the camera is seeing this one let me bring up the camera a bit this one on the caliper itself so what we do here is we clean this guy off the one with the rubber bushing here goes in the bottom. 
remember silicone grease that's what we're using here it's a high temp grease and what we're gonna do next is we're gonna do the same thing here we're gonna clean this guy off and I'm gonna put a tiny bit grease on this guy and you can even uh, take your other sliding pin and smudge on the grease however you like okay so we got that and you want to take your caliper again same thing slide the pin in make sure it clicks on so no water can get in and we're gonna take our bottom sliding pin with the grease on it and we're gonna torque it to 26 foot pounds so we're gonna adjust this guy to 26 foot pound I'm gonna switch up the socket There you go, magic, bada bing, bada boom. Thank you for watching guys. After this, make sure make sure both sides are done. Make sure you pump your brake pedal before you start the car. It's gonna be soft, then it'll get hard uh, because it won't be spongy in the beginning. But anyways, let's take a look at our completed job. And you do want it, you do want to turn it. That noise is normal, but if you hear it like a scrape, like a screaming noise, like a cat nails on the on a board. That's no good. Anyways, thank you for watching.